What's going on? What's going on? You back here with your boys, the TEP Transferable Experience Podcast, episode seventy nine. I'm here. Ed's here. How Sir. you doing? How you doing, bro? Oh man, I'm I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah. Good. It's been a while it, it, since it, we've it, done this. Yeah, yeah. Like it's we It's been a while. It's been a while. It's like we load up on these episodes. Don't don't you know, you know, we uh let them go. Then when we get back in the yo, man, it's just like we never left. Yeah, man. I Excuse me, I'm sorry. It's definitely feel like it's been a while, man. It has, man. A I lot. don't even know how to properly give a recap. I don't even know where when the last time they yeah. they heard from where where Buddha at Buddha two weeks ago. I can't pick up. I can't pick up if I don't know where I left off. Yeah, I don't. Oh well, you know what I I do. I know I talked about my vacation to New York. Oh yeah, that was pre New York. Yeah, that was pre New York. Um, so let me see. Let me see if I can set the stage. So that had to be. Two weeks ago now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah two weeks ago. Uh I could look it in my calendar and see my uh see my flight stuff. But anyway. Yeah, it was two weeks ago. Yeah, it was, two you weeks. was here last week. I left on the tenth, yeah. But you came back in the middle of the week. Yeah, I came back last week. Okay. So two weeks ago, um I did go to uh New York. Um I was invited by some of my old co workers that I met in AmeriCorps. Shout out to AmeriCorps. Um, you know, um, we stayed, you know, like I was, I was tight with everybody, but these were the ones I was like really tight with. So they invited me to, uh, well, the young lady, shout out to Eden. I know she don't listen to the podcast. So I'm going to just say, I love you, Eden. Like when, the garden? Like, yeah, 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 Eden. I like that name. Yeah, it's not, I ain't going to give away her secret. <laughs> Eden. Eden, yeah. I feel like if I went to like have a woman... Name derived from mine. That's the only thing I can think of. Eden. That's not. I feel too like far left or e- Eden. Like one of them names. You know how they have names that like you hear about the name before you see the person. Yeah. Even like, oh, I know that's a character. You're like, yeah. that's the type of name Eden is. That's like, like a like for some reason that just for me that's like instantly mm. like a name that like kind of command respect. Yeah. Before they walk in the room. Yeah. Huh? If you yeah. say Eden. Like, Eden. You're like, Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah, right. I don't think you can just. Yeah. I don't know who she is, but yeah, she sounds like she's the a, truth. That's a, that's a nice strong name. Yeah. I like that. I'm yeah. going to have to steal that one. Yeah. 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 Eden. Yeah. Uh, and she, she is Jewish. I don't know. Shalom. What that yeah. Shalom. And all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I ain't trying <laughs> Hey, I ain't trying to say the wrong thing, man. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. On, let's go. I'm about to say, hey, I'm let's just, not, let's I'm not stay on that, I'm a, I don't know if that was right. I'm about to say, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That uh, is a nice name, though. It's Eden. great. It's a great name. I like that. I never not met anyone named Eden. Okay, that's okay. I'm saying the truth. That's her middle name. That's uh-huh. that she chose to start going by. That's a but, cool name. I get it. But I, I but too. I met her with her first name, uh, and like within she went through the rebrand. I watched the rebrand. Like it literally uh, happened in three days. She's like, "Y'all, I'm not going by my first name no more. Y'all gotta start calling me Eden." And I was like, "All right, I already had your name say that's this yeah. and it." But like, all right, because you know people deserve to get called what they want to get called. And something it, about that name, you gotta say the full name. That ain't one of them names you can shorten. It's Eden. Eden. Yeah, it's just Eden. Like, why it's, would you shorten? It, it got like a a, a calm, what, stoic pace about it. What too. would be the nickname for Eden? Edie. Yeah, I just say Eden. Dean. Dean. Oh, Dean. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it D? Yeah, Eden. <laughs> Eden. I, like e, I like E. I like Eden, though. Yeah, yeah. Eden. Somebody yeah. might try and just say Ed, but don't Eat or Eat. Eat. Yeah. Eat, talk Eat. to him. Eat. Eat. Talk to him, Eat. Eat. Uh, Eden, though. That's a nice yeah. name. I yeah. like that a lot. Man. And you could put, and that's a name you could put stuff on the front. What's up, little Eden? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Young I'm, Eden. That's what I be doing. You know what I'm saying? Young yeah. Eden, what's yeah, up? Young Eden. Anyway. I like that name. I'm, I must take that one. But anyway, she invited us to uh, um, her little family's uh, lake house mm-hmm. uh, up there, Ithaca, New York, like around that area. The area that the, the actual lake is called the Finger Lakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's spelled like Cayuga Lake, uh, but they pronounce it kind of like Cuga, C A Y U G A. Okay, so you up in that you you from Texas, so I know you pronounce it Cayuga, but the people there they say it like Cuga or something like that. They kind of like put it all together. But anyway, that's just a little tidbit. Anyways, um, 
We went there. I got. I, I, I flew out uh, Wednesday morning, like at a little five thirty. Mm-hmm. You know, and me, I don't really play with the airports. You know what I'm saying? I get my. I get like. I ain't gonna lie, like I get my on the airport, I mean on the airplane, I get myself prepared to travel as light as possible. Okay. Like I'm not the carry on guy. I I rarely ever put anything overhead. I'm gonna say funny thing is people that normally travel light, they only have a carry on. They don't like checking bags. No, I got no. I'm gonna have to check in. I'm gonna yeah, cause I'm a check bag guy. Yeah, I check it in. Like, but if I'm moving through the airport, I don't want to just have stuff. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, um. And the good thing about the people I fly with, and I ain't gonna put everybody out there. They want to, they give you, a, they, they kind of weird because you do kind of pay for your check bag, but they almost always give you another check bag for free because mm-hmm. they never have enough space in their overhead. I just, I, I've just flown with them enough times to know that they do that. Mm-hmm. So even when I'm packing and I got like extra stuff from what it, what would be my carry on, I was like. They gonna offer me the free carry on because they just do that, you know. Mm. But anyway, that was good. Uh, flew there. It was like a no. I flew to DC first, then I flew to uh, Rochester, New York. Okay. And then, uh, funny enough, the person that was supposed to be picking me up from the airport couldn't because he had contracted COVID like three days before, so oh, he was man. on his. He was he was in this little five day quarantine. It was like two days before, like a little five day quarantine, whatever. So, anyways, so Eden, mm-hmm. <laughs> she had to come pick me up, uh, but she was already in New York, so it was just like an hour drive. It's mm-hmm. like an hour and a half drive from Rochester to uh, that spot, so it wasn't that bad. If you friend for somebody, it's not that bad, you know. Okay. If it's a stranger, yeah, you know. But, anyways, got there, and I just paraphrased the rest of it. Um, Cause I'm gonna talk about my trip back. Um, it was good, man. Um, the cottage was right on the lake. Uh, they had the they had like two docks that was theirs, mm-hmm. and like the way they had it. And you know, bro, we so geographically like stunted in Texas mm-hmm. to where everything is so flat. Yeah. So if I say like it's on the lake, you probably think like it's just a flat plain. Maybe a little beach bank and then go like, no, bro, these people got elevation up there. Mm. So like these lakes ca- are carved in within like, like a mountain range, not like a mountain range, but like a elevation, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So it was like an upper cottage, then a lower cottage. The upper cottage was probably about 80 feet, like above the lower cottage. And it was a nice quaint little like cabin. <laughs> Funny enough, you walk in and there's like the living room to the left, mm-hmm. uh, and they had space enough for two couches, one long ways, one wide. Mm-hmm. Had like a little round table where you can eat and stuff like that. Uh, to your left of the door, little kitchenette. Okay, you know, so, well, kitchen because it had a sink, it had a refrigerator, a working refrigerator too, because I kept drinks in there, and it had like a little like. Gas stove, I think, but okay. I didn't. I didn't use the stove, not in there. But anyways, uh, but it was nice. The funny thing about this cabin, uh, they was like, "Yeah, Drew, you could just use the room in the back, right?" So you walk through like a hallway, and there's like a middle room mm-hmm. that got a couch in a bed, and I'm like, okay, cool. Now this cabin had was built probably like in the forties, fifties. Oh, so, so shotgun style, shotgun style, and they utilizing every square foot. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a restroom to the left of the middle room that has the toilet and the sink. (laughs) You go through the middle room and there's the shower and the tub. But in this same room, there's a queen size bed. I would just have to see a video of that. I can't. I can't lie to you. (laughs) Okay, dang. Well, you hear, but people listening, you walk in, you walk, open the door. First thing you see is the tub. In the shower, shower head. Mm-hmm. Turn to your right. The room is is it, it extends like it's, it's an extended room. Oh. and then the queen bed. The queen bed is like in the rest of the room. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of how it is, and it was pretty comfortable. Wait, so it wasn't no like nothing between. No, it wasn't nothing dividing that. No, oh, okay. no, you know, no. It was the shower. Okay. Then it that's was how the, I see it in my mind. Yeah. so you think you got to turn if yeah. somebody else was in there. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or wait to go back there. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But there was a door leading to it. It wasn't just an open hallway. Oh, okay. So it's a door. But the good thing about it is there was enough of us where like everybody had somewhere to be. No, so all, how many of y'all was there? It was like four. Oh, four. Okay. yeah, so yeah. It too crazy. And y'all all stayed in that? No, no, no. Some people was in the lower one. Some people was in. But there's only four of y'all, including yourself. Uh oh, five, five, five. Okay. No, four. Me, you didn't. Yeah, four, four. Yeah. So it was like two to a cabin, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Did y'all like fluctuate? How did you get from up there to down low? It was just like a little uh, walkway. You just uh, walked down. But there. It was some, that sound. If it, it was, was eighty feet up, that was some stairs. Yeah, yeah. It's like a gravel driveway. Then it's also like a stair that goes into, but it leads into the lower cabin. Mm. They're not connected, so they're separated. And you got gravel trees and stuff. But anyway, they had two docks. You walk down lower to get to the actual bank of the lake, and they had like two docks that you can like do stuff on. They had kayaks and like surf, like long boards and mm-hmm. paddles and stuff. Fishing poles, so that's what I did. I was fishing a lot. Uh, I swam in the lake. Lake was great. It was warm, nice, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Fast forward, anyway. Good time, though. I was able to, like, disconnect. Like, because it was a place, like, you you, you was Wi-Fi thugging. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But when you wasn't, you didn't really have no, I didn't have no service. Yeah. But it's, that wasn't a problem for me. You mm-hmm. know you on vacation, when lack of service is not a problem, like, well, that's almost kind of welcome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I was, I was able to unplug, uh, kind of uh, give myself some time to just think and, you know, uh, recenter myself. And it was cool to be somewhere that, like, I have, like, zero responsibility. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, I ain't got to think about it. Like, I got to go get my tail light fixed. I got to go get this. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm just here. I don't even got the car here, so I'm doing whatever they do. You know what I'm saying? If they want to go into the to the city, I might go, I might not. You know, there was a lot of walks we took, you know what I'm saying? Just walking around the little woods or whatever. Uh, you know, we chilled out. We did a little puzzle, you know what I mean? Like we did stuff like that. Like it was Yeah, yeah, I was really relaxing. Yeah, we was relaxing, bro. And this group of uh friends I had, they they're very like low maintenance. Like they 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 the type of people like we ain't gotta be doing nothing all the time, like Ain't nobody waking you up at 10 o'clock to take shots. But you could take a shot. Mm-hmm. I'm I might a, say for a nice little group where it's like, yeah. it's not too many, but it's enough yeah. to and where it, it don't feel like too little. It, yeah. That's and, a nice number for and, it. And you know, I was there for like a, like five days. So like eventually, people like people go off to your own little corners, you know what I'm saying, for like an hour or two. Mm-hmm. Then everybody converge when it's like time to converge. And it was like a natural time into it all, so it, it felt really good. And uh, saw some beautiful sunsets. Mm. I was about to ask. I was waiting to get my Ed questions off. So, like, mm-hmm. what? how did y'all spend y'all nights? In my mind, y'all spent y'all nights by the fire. Uh, we we didn't have a fire, but we, 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 would, we would make dinner. Uh, two of the people there were vegetarians, so we had very ba- <sighs> We had balanced dinners, though. Two was vegetarian, two was meat eaters. So pause. I, <laughs> pause. They did their thing and we added our part and it was good. But they had like a little a deck on the lower on the lower cottage mm-hmm. that kind of overlooked the lake, mm-hmm. and uh, we kind of sat there like around like sunset, mm-hmm. and it was good. Like you know, we'd be drinking, talking, listening to music, just catching up, telling little stories and stuff like that. A um, couple times we went down to the dock and saw the sunset from the dock. Mm-hmm. I was catching like these little baby perches. I know Miko wanted to know. Uh, I was catching like perch. They had trout there. Mm-hmm. I was trying to get this trout, but it wasn't messing with me. You know, I'll tell you what I was fishing with later, Miko. I know you're going to ask. But anyway, uh, but it had the most beautiful sunsets and the most beautiful, like, cause that was the full moon. It was, they, mm-hmm. man, it, it was, it, it was nice, man. I had to download the sky map. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we we hey we was getting hey we was getting astrological in there. We was like, that's the moon, but what's next to that? I was like, oh, shoot, let me download this sky map, and it happened to be Saturn. It was Saturn, right there. Oh dang! Yeah, so we was out there stargazing and <laughs> looking at the moon, um, but it was nice though. And nights nice ended early. They didn't end. They didn't end wild. It was like I don't know. People can. It was like one of the things for like at the most. 
We be up to like 11, 30, 12 just talking. Oh, okay. Y'all nice was ending there early. Yeah, yeah. Then it'd be like, hey, y'all. I'm Somebody be like, yeah, I'm about to go just lay it down. Then, mm-hmm. Like you said, it's always like the three people left that be talking. Then somebody else leave. Next mm-hmm. thing you know, it just be a one on one. Yeah. It was like that. It was just, hey, you know me. I was, I was, I was I, the one on one. I know you was the, one of the last. Yeah. So was just oh, like, yeah. Especially outside. Cause you know me. I be like. But they have mosquitoes out there? Nah, bro. That's what oh, I lo- yeah. But that's what I love oh, about yeah. the, bro. That's what I love. Bro, I wore a hoodie for the first time this summer out there. Like, not like needed a hoodie, but like if you had a hoodie, and you not, and you wasn't uncomfortable. Oh man, I was like, because you know they a little bit ahead with they seasons. Like, yeah. I said, man, we ain't gonna get this in Texas for another two months. Like, oh, so they already kind of kind of cooling down with, uh, fall a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like at night, it was about like uh, sixty two. Oh, fifty five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, I know, oh, yeah, yeah. But anyway. Uh, you know, it was cool though, but you know, so what did y'all do? Just like buy groceries before y'all went out there? Yeah, we went to a farmer's market, we went to a local farmer market. I got some locally sourced steak, uh, you know, from a um cow that was raised right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was loved you, you though, could tell it had a better life, it did, it tasted good. <laughs> uh, we went there, we did, uh, we went to a winery. Went to a little winery. You bought your seasoning out there, or you just made do? Uh, I went. I bought. I added some seasonings to their cabinet. I ain't gonna lie, because it's a family owned, family owned place. Yeah, it ain't like an Airbnb. Like eating, like her people own it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So everything in there is like theirs. Like they yeah. got like family pictures on the wall and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, so I added some seasonings, <laughs> uh, and I left them there. And I told them like, hey, this this just my donation to the, you know, yeah. donation to the cabinet, man. Uh, but then we went. The winery was really nice. It was like a little, you know, house. Like the winery didn't like they had like a nice little field field cleared out with like they had like a tent that you could sit under, mm-hmm. and then they had like lawn chairs like spaced out on the on the lawn. They had cornhole, mm-hmm. and it wasn't real crowded. Um, and we I, we we was doing like the little flight where you can get, yeah 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 we did like yeah, the a little, little bit a little bit yeah a little, little bit, bit of everything. everything. I bought a bottle. Um, I didn't bring it back. I gifted it to somebody else, but I bought a bottle. You know, I was I know, participating. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but it turned out pretty good, and uh, the former market was nice. I got like some good, authentic Cambodian food. You know what I mean? It was uh-huh. real good. It was. They had everything in there, like bamboo stalks, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, like banana shoots, them little mm-hmm. things. You know, you know all those things. Yeah. Uh, over rice, and it was spicy. So it was right up my lane. I uh, had a couple other things they tried. I had like you know noodles and stuff like mm. that. But uh, it was cool, and it was it was that was in Ithaca, actually in Ithaca, mm. and it was diverse, man. You know, you saw a little bit of everything out there, or yeah. everybody was out there. Yeah. Uh, but after that, we did like just uh, we did some cookouts on the weekend. You know, mm-hmm. uh, shout out to Eden though. She make hey, she make a mean grilled cheese. She's making mean grilled cheese. I know if you listening, eating that grilled cheese was on my mind. That was on my mind, bro. The way uh, she, it just the see she do the bread evenly. She put a tomato in there. Hmm. You know, if you want meat, you can. If not, she'll put some avocados and stuff. Bro, bro. Okay, she jazzed that up. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, when you said grill, I was just thinking meat, cheese. I mean, mm-hmm. cheese, bread. Mm-mm, no, she, oh, she, she, yeah, yeah, she get into it. Was but, it was the bread thicker or was it just regular bread? It was thicker. It was, you know, bro, East Coast, I will say this. My time in the East Coast, like, you can go to a specified store, like, for stuff. Like, mm-hmm. more, I feel like more accurately than you can out here in Texas. Yeah, because we're a little bit more commercialized and stuff. Yeah, like we more so one one stop shop. Yeah, just one like stop. Kroger, yeah, Walmart, them type places. Because them places out there, those little towns like that, they still allow for like mom and pop store. You can so go you to can go to the bakery. You can go to a then bakery. Go to the butcher to get yeah. you. Yeah, then go to. Yeah, you yeah. can. They have their stores, but even their stores be. Yeah. You know, but anyway, fast forward. Everything was good. The vacation was great, man. That's not like a because y'all was there so long. It seemed like. Nothing had to be crammed, Mm-mm. so it just gave you space to like do, every, do everything at a nice, yeah. calm pace. Well, we had we had that one day. It's like y'all want to do something? Nah, not really. All right, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? I would, I wasn't tripping. You know what I mean? We had that day. You know, yeah. that's all. That's always a good day to have in the vacation where y'all mm-hmm. could just like we ain't doing nothing today. You know. Yeah. But anyway, it was good. Uh, 
So that Sunday, because um, I was coming back uh, Tuesday. Now this when the, this when the trouble start. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm taking up a lot of time. But anyway, the guy that did have COVID, he got negative tests, mm-hmm. so nobody's in danger. He came and he came down there, and we hung out there, there, there for like that day. That made him fight number five. No, that was like day number six. No, I'm saying that made him number five. No, yeah, you made him number five, the fifth okay. person. But he, but we didn't stay there overnight. We just he came because he's from Rochester. Mm-hmm. Well, he lives in Rochester, so we stayed there that day. Uh, he got there around two. We stayed there till like ten, twelve. Because I'm flying back out of Rochester, so I got to be in Rochester. Mm-hmm. So me and him just drove back to his spot. And that kind of that kind of got us back more into like the city living, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because Rochester is a city. Um, but we got back, went to sleep, woke up Monday. Um, he had to work. Uh, I had a nice little morning, just cooled out in like his apartment. Like their apartments over there, they they like chop up a house and make yeah. that into an apartment. They ain't really like this, you know. Mm-hmm. So it was a nice had a living room. I was just watching TV. He got off early. Uh, we took a boat onto Lake uh, Ontario. Okay. Because, you know, Rochester is on the banks of Lake Ontario. Uh, him, me, him, and his friend Ben, shout out to Ben. Shout out to Scott. This is Scott I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Scott. Yeah, this is Scott. Scott. Shout out to my, Scott. My bad, my bad. I be, I don't know. So, Scott, that's what it was. He picked yeah. me up. Him and Ben, they own a boat. And so, they took us They took us out onto Lake uh, Ontario. Uh, we fished for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were kind of like strapped for time, so then they took, then he took us like out, like but we was like in like the lake area. Yeah. Then he actually took us out into the actual lake, and the waves was big. You know what I'm saying? If you watching my story, you started to be on that boat. That's that was the boat we was uh-huh. on. Yeah, that was that boat we was on. But it was nice though. It was nice. It was a nice little job. And we came back. Uh, we went back to Sky House, and it was cool because I kind of got to see like when I was living in New York. Mm-hmm. A lot of those people I met out there when I was living out there. So it was good to see those people again. They're like, they remember me. What's up, Jew? Like, yeah. how you doing? How, blah, 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 blah. I see you with the, some of them was like, I see you with the podcast. I'm like, yeah. free sage you, free sage you. But anyways, um, after that, we just had dinner at his brother house. Uh, it was nice. Uh, sat outside. What they made. Mm. They had some corn on the cob. They had uh, like some. Chicken breast, uh, potatoes. It was, it just hit all the food groups. I ain't gonna lie, but it was good. It was mm-hmm. good. I enjoyed it. Like, they, How did only, they prepared the potatoes. Uh, they had like, it looked like they kind of baked them, mm-hmm. but they oiled them up real nice so they wouldn't dry it out. Okay. And it looked like they kind of seasoned it. They put like some nice oil so on it. So it was like the little small potatoes. Yeah, no, like what, a, yeah, it was like that big, but they chopped them in half. So, uh, you know, you know okay. what I'm saying? Stuff like that. It was good though, and they gave you some buns. So if you want to take your chicken breast and chop it up and make a little sandwich out of it, you can. Uh, had like some chocolate cream cake after that. <laughs> hey, yeah. it was nice. But the good thing about like them out there at this time, you can sit outside. So after that, we sat outside and we mm-hmm. just talking and stuff. And then after that, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. It was kind of a quick trip to Rochester because I was supposed to spend more time out there. The Scott. Who had got COVID? He's supposed to pick me up from the airport on Wednesday, mm-hmm. and a lot of that stuff we did Monday, we would have did Wednesday, maybe Thursday morning, yeah. and then went down there, you know. But mm-hmm. neither here nor there. I still had a good time. So yeah. the trip back was crazy. Mm-hmm. My man, that my flight got delayed like three times in Rochester. I missed my connecting flight in Boston to DC. Mm-hmm. Had to find a flight from Boston to Texas. They didn't have no more flights going to Dallas. So I had to get a flight from Boston to Austin. Okay. Because I missed my flight from Boston to to D.C. Mm -hmm. And then actually, matter of fact, every time the flight got delayed in Rochester, I had options for to pick a new flight, new connecting flight. Mm Mm-hmm. So the original flight pattern was supposed to go Rochester, Boston, D.C., Dallas. Okay. Okay? When Rochester got delayed the first time, I still had a Boston and D.C. flight I could take to get to catch D.C. to uh, Dallas. 
Got delayed again. That's out the window now. Mm-hmm. Only thing left is a nonstop flight from Boston to Dallas, which I pretty much appreciate. Yeah. That one was at like 6 o'clock. Bro, our plane, it's only like an hour, five-minute flight from Rochester to Boston. Mm-hmm. That plane left the runway, was on the runway at 5 o'clock. That that flight from Boston to Dallas was leaving at 16. Mm-hmm. That's a tight window. I didn't make it. We landed. But we landed on the other way. And I swear to God, I saw the plane. Like I saw the I saw <laughs> I saw the plane to Dallas, like getting on the runway. I was like, that's my plane. I had the number on the side, eh? <laughs> I hit the number on the side and I cross members that with the number of the flight on my app and I was like, that's my flight. Running through that airport, missed it. Mm-hmm. I thought I thought I was gonna be spending the night in Boston. Mm-hmm. I kinda kinda just like, damn, I got a I got a fan in Boston. Mm-hmm. But uh anyways, I ended up getting a flight. <laughs> Uh, to Texas, it wasn't to Dallas. It was mm-hmm. to Austin, and this you probably know it because I called Buddha from Austin to Austin. Yeah, I called Buddha like, bro, did your bag successfully make them trips? It, with you? Bro, ironically, it did. I was about to say, it's no way. I was about to say, it, it had did. to get lost in the sauce Man, at some point. I, that's what I was worried about. I ain't even go get my bag for in Boston. I ain't even go to the baggage claim. I just went straight to the other gate. Then I went and talked to the customer service lady. She put me on the flight to Austin, and mm-hmm. she was like, I was like, hey, is my bags going to make it? She's like, yeah, they grabbing it right now. And luckily, this the airline, I was with American, so I, I fly American. Yeah. But, bro, they look out for me because I've been with them so long. Oh, I got okay. I got the perks because I'm loyal. Okay. Okay, you can say yuck, but after like three <laughs> years of you being with somebody, like, okay, you in, there, you in there now. I'm in there. Oh, yeah. So I got the actual app. Mm-hmm. And I'm like tracking everything, and they do a good job, bro, mm-hmm. of updating you. They let me change my flight like five times, and they ain't even charge me for the other flight. And they was about to put me in a hotel for the night in Boston, but I was like, I'm not staying. I don't want to live. <laughs> I said, not live. I don't want to stay the night in Boston. I don't even like staying the night in places. I like going when I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. Yeah, I might say you have been gone for for a, a while. At yeah, that point. at that yeah. point, my bad. Uh, so yeah. Booty, I, I landed that flight, got to Austin at like 11 p.m. P.M. Mm. Booty came and got me. Shout out to Booty. He needs some claps. Because that boy, I called that boy at 7 o'clock that time. So mm. that had to be like 6 o'clock this time. I'm like, hey, bro, you got to come get me from Austin, bro. I'm not staying in Boston. He's like, all right, no question. Just came and got me. Then Ed, so this is like eleven o'clock at night on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I take he come and get me, pick me up. Mm-hmm. We drive back to Dallas. Mm-hmm. Now you know it's like a three hour drive, so yeah. I didn't get back to Dallas <laughs> to like two fifty. So let's just say three o'clock. Mm-hmm. Bro, that Wednesday I had to drive back to Austin for a training for my job. You yeah. knew you had to go back to Austin. I had to go back to Austin. Why you just didn't stay in Austin? I had some stuff I had to bring back to the house. Plus, I had Buddha there. And my boss was like, bro, we would have put you in the hotel or whatever. I was like, yeah, but I had some things I had to drop off at the house. And then, I ain't going to lie, I need to get myself together. I wasn't ready for a hotel stay. So I just made the trip, went back to Austin. Went to Austin that Wednesday for an all-day training. Was there at like 4.30. That time you had to be in Austin. Uh, at, uh, nine. So you had oh you only got a couple hours of sleep two hours, tops tops. Mm-hmm. So did that drove back to Dallas, bro. I got home at like seven. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so they let y'all out at a respectable time. Yeah, it was at like four. It was like four. Mm-hmm. Actually, like the it was the the thing was over at like three thirty four. Mm-hmm. But the food that came and it was kind of like if you want to eat you can if you not you can leave. And I was kind of a lead. I'm a lead supervisor, so I kind of... And they had some other big guys there, so I had to kind of, like, network a little yeah, bit. so you just stayed in. I stayed for, like, another 45, just mm-hmm. talking with them, getting my name out there, networking yeah. and stuff. Anyway, I ain't get home to like, 7, 7, 20. You can mm-hmm. ask Buddha. Buddha was sitting right there, y'all. I walked in. 
I was just He said what's up I said bro I'm going to sleep <laughs> And When I tell you At that point bro Cause think about it I ain't really had no Sleep sleep Since mm-hmm. like maybe Sunday Yeah I didn't been across time zones Yeah I was so tired bro I was so tired bro I walked in I came My bad I know that was a long story But That was the recap of my vacation y'all Like it was yeah. great Look, it was great all the way up until the end. Like, <laughs> j- hey, just getting home was the only bad part. But anyway, how you been, man? My bad. <laughs> Wait, so what? What uh, did you go to work the next day? Thursday. Yeah, yeah, I went to work. And then, oh my goodness! Then you went back and then I go home. Then I drove to Orange to to bring Buddha back. Yeah, and then I came back Sunday. That's so what I was you saying. Got back Sunday. Oh mm-hmm. man, that was after that wild night. <laughs> Uh, so I left around like four. I got back around like ten p.m. Yeah. Oh mm-hmm. heck no! But it was either that or drive hungover. What oh was, yeah, I might say them terrible options. So I'm asleep. Yeah, I'm a. I, I'm a shake back before I get on the road. Yeah, but uh, that's why I was telling you off mic. Like I ain't really had no time to breathe until thank God it was storming Monday in Dallas. That yeah. kind of gave me a. A little bit of an off day because yeah, yeah, I had yeah, to get you back. You couldn't really be out in the field that day. Mm-mm. I ain't even go work out. I ain't going to lie to you. Like Wednesday night and th- Thursday? Oh, no, that was just rest and recovery, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that was just rest and recovery. But um, I'm, I did not let that experience like sour the experience, the, the, yeah. the, the vacation, though. Like if that was the only trouble I had. Oh well, yeah. Because I kind of had time to play with, and you know, in situations where you was like, "Bro, it ain't no solution to this," so you just gotta accept it. Mm-hmm. That's what that was. I like, I just accepted it. Like, this is gonna be a long day, yeah, a two days. So, but anyway, um, sorry about that long story, y'all. But that was my vacation. But I will say this: <laughs> I had a good time. If you ever get a chance to just unplug, you got to though. Yeah. Um. You want to give a little update, man? I know that was that was wild. But. Nah, man, that kind of just go into uh, yeah what we wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, as far as like <clears throat> prioritizing yourself, um, mm-hmm. that's what I've been talking about and going over in therapy because I feel like I've been kind of like mm-hmm. well, it really started. You know, it was about three months ago, man. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. I don't ever remember. Summer being that busy for us, man. <laughs> yeah, hey, you you was, you seem you seem pretty pretty busy. Though. It was always something, bro. Because I remember last summer you was like it's busy, but like it was just work. Yeah, it, it was. Just, I didn't have a personal life to be honest. Yeah, yeah. This year was like my work life of busyness matched my personal life. Like they mm-hmm. both was busy, mm-hmm. and man, it was mm-hmm. it was a lot. And that's why I've been talking about it in therapy because I was like, well. Everybody know at this point my busy season of work is over with, but now it's still like mm-hmm. it's still like a lot of social obligations, and mm-hmm. I'm getting more into like boxing now. So what hey. used to be nope. once a week then turned into twice a week. That's borderline three if I want it to be. I saw your video. You turned into a little machine. It's like yeah, man. Borderline three days a week if I wanted to be still. Yeah. Yeah. Go to therapy. So even at that point, we at four. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We record podcasts. So at that point, it's like you got a full week. What day I got? Then I, you know, yeah. dating. If I, you know, so if I want to go on a date, you want to do something. Something so got to give. Like, huh? And then it's like all that stuff for me is like it's like me just being. All of that is like active stuff. You okay. know, none of that is just. Uh-huh. Sitting down, yeah. You want to go for all that? Yeah, it's like it's never a stillness. Like me, is like the only time I normally sit down during the week is at work, mm-hmm. and then at the end of the day when I'm eating. Then mm-hmm. after that is instant go sleep. to sleep. Yeah, so it's like that. it's not stillness, and that's what I like about the football season. It like mm-hmm. forced me to sit, sit down. down all day and just watch games yeah like, yeah yeah i'm not on the go constantly yeah like I normally, and it kind of make other people sit down too like bro activities it, are centered around we watching yeah you know what I'm saying? and then too like, like i guess i just been doing, having so many social obligations and stuff i forgot like you know like stuff that i used to normally just always do thinking it was just kind of like mm-hmm. 
fill in the gap or just, you know, like my little routine. I didn't realize how like much that inc- like contributed to my overall wellness. Okay. Like I didn't know how important my hikes was until I haven't been on one in a while. Yeah, you start to realize I'm like, missing this piece. Dang, like that, that's my time. Like you said, it's like your yeah. time to unplug. And, yeah, because yeah. I ain't on my phone. I got yeah. one, maybe two, two headphones. headphones. You know, I got my headphones and just listening to music. But I'm walking, looking around, looking at nature. That's when I get my thoughts together because it's just a certain calm. And I am physically moving, but mm-hmm. it's like it's just mm-hmm. you know it's just a stillness. I don't have to. Mm-hmm. Be thinking about what's next. I can just be in that moment and stuff. And mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. that's what I've been talking about in there because it's like, man, I feel like it's so much stuff that I feel like I, you know, that's on my to do list that like, I don't just prioritize time and be like, mm-hmm. I'm busy. But really, it's just me blocking out time for myself to just be still and do nothing and yeah. just chill. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and so I kind of just been struggling, like trying to figure that out. Like, you feel how like- in my schedule can I prioritize myself? Because even like, although some might say, well, you know, me working out in boxing is so kind of, like- but it's like that ain't. I need like, you need that's that. good and that's fun and that's a workout and I enjoy it. But that ain't like just that st- the t- like moments of stillness. Yeah. I need stillness. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. That's what I need to. I'm trying to work on trying to like. Prioritize learning how to prioritize that and saying, Yeah, because it used to be if I had some stuff to do where I wanted to do, mm-hmm. but somebody else came with something, I'm like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I, I'll come. I ain't really got nothing going, but when I really had a uh, plan yeah. that night, like, hey, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a tap into this movie, I've been wanting to watch it, you know, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, stuff. And it's like, yeah, I felt like for me too, it's like I don't think I realize. That I'm not prioritizing myself till it's almost too late. Uh, that's what I was about to ask you. Yeah. How do you know when it's too late? When I'm just drained, like now, and just feel like it's like, it's like even it's, it's even like I'm just like I'm just I'm just drained and just mm-hmm. I'm always feeling like I'm like you drain. It's like a physical drain, really, more than a mental drain. Like you ain't got no more energy to put I'm towards tired, energy. bro. Like mm-hmm. it's like I'm telling you, like. It's a con like the only time I guess I'm really still during the week is at work, mm-hmm. but I'm working. Right. And then it's like as soon as I get off, it's a workout. Then I do this, then I probably got something else to do. Then that, then mm-hmm. I gotta eat. Then at this point, I can't do nothing but go to sleep because it's about eleven now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you gotta make time for yourself for that, bro. You know? Yeah. Like, that's why I say I gotta like prioritize that and mm-hmm. like because I do I'm tired. I told you that before the podcast when you're talking about, yeah, you wanna do this like this was a week ago, probably, but mm-hmm. I just I run. I just want to go home and watch some shows. I need to I need to watch uh, what's the uh, House of Dragons? I need to watch House of Dragons. Oh again, man. man, I only done watched it once. Oh man, I need yeah. to watch that again. You need, need you, to, you need to get on top of that. What's, I got to go lock in, <laughs> man, and just some little movies like you got to get your draft board. You got to get your draft board together. We got for the fantasy, the fantasy for falling Sunday. Like, Shout out to you for putting that together in like eight hours. Man, group message make a big difference. Yeah. I used to have to send that individual. Yeah, everybody. I remember that. It was good. That was so easy. It I, was just, and that's why that the order was separate from the other because I was just copy and paste, and yeah. I just throw the name. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. was the smoothest that ever went. BT Dub. Okay, like putting okay. that yeah. the time together. Yeah, the draft order that was, that was good. The smoothest that was it good. Ever that was good because it was just like boop. Boop, boop. Yeah. Then yeah. at one point, people knew when they were, so they just automatically put what number they yeah. wanted to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. I ain't got my thoughts together at all. Thank, honestly, I want it this Sunday, but I'm happy that it's next Sunday. I There's one less thing I got to worry about, to be honest. I can't lie to you. Given my long story, I, I just. I just had, yeah, I couldn't do this Sunday. That's why I didn't say I didn't have a preference when I put it out there. But you know, but you know, with stuff like that, guys were talking about us picking a day to draft for our fantasy football team, the Proof Fantasy Football League. I know, I know our group. Mm-hmm. So I knew 90% of those answers was going to be, it don't matter. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm not doing this today. We're not about to do the it don't matter to me. Well, it don't matter. No. I'm going to be the dude to make a decision. Because I know Ed going to just say, whoever make the decision, we're just going to do that. Yeah. That I'm going to say literally the eithers I did not count. Them. I was like, say, whoever got the most that actually pick a day, yeah. I'm going to just go with I that. I know that's what you was doing. That's why I just said next Sunday. Yeah. Like, come on. But anyway, I say that to say, um, P 
people, not people, us living in, in, in the way we live, like, it's easier to put yourself on the back burner than it is to say, you know what I'm saying? No, I can't make it. Yeah. Especially when you try to be a man in your word, you probably tell people, like, yeah, I can yeah. make it. Like, like I like I. I told I told Buddha, yeah, I could bring you back Saturday. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I could have been like, bro, right, long week, bro. We can just do this next weekend. Yeah. But like I I chose the suffering. Yeah. That's such a bad way to put it. You know what I'm saying? But I did. Like half of me did want to bring him back, half of me because I was gonna bring him back Friday. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to like muster myself up to do that, kind of like you. I had to be real with myself. It's like, bro, you ain't got that in you. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, you you do not have that in you. And I had to be real with myself and, like you said, prioritize my well being. Because mm-hmm. I'm so quick to push that to the side. Me too. Because I don't know, this might sound very, very condescending, but. I rather take on the brunt of that burden, yeah, than to see it dissipate across others, like yeah, me too, across like five people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, example, like, tell if I tell Buddha no, I can't bring you back this weekend. I'm holding up Buddha getting his job. I'm holding up the stuff him and my mama had planned. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm holding. I'm really holding up myself because like. This is going to be something that I got to do next weekend, which would have been this weekend, you mm-hmm. know. And then, like, you know, he trying to see my grandma, blah, 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 and other stuff like that. Like, instead of causing all that ruckus, mm-hmm. look, Ed, <laughs> I'll just be tired. I can handle that. Do you go through those same, like, thought processes? Yeah. Yeah. It's like I'd rather just shoulder it than have to put that on other people. Especially if, like, I done committed to something in me, like Excuse you me. said. If mm-hmm. I... Don't come through, then that's gonna affect a, a lot few of other things. Yeah, like how I just take because yeah. I had like, and then I think too for me, man, it's like what used to be like. Okay, if I sit around for a few hours, I'm good. I need a little bit more time. <laughs> you now. need, yeah, you need like a little day. <laughs> yeah, I need a little bit more time, man. Because it used to be like, yeah, if I if I can only get, and then it's like, I don't know what it is about Sundays now. Like, I feel like I used to be able to get through my household. Chores, chores and stuff mm. and be sitting down to watch football at noon. Yeah. I guess because I don't got that motivation because, bro. Football ain't been here. If I, like, go through my chores, do all I need to do, grocery shop, cook, mm-hmm. clean, and uh-uh-uh. Mm-hmm. It's five, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. when I'm finishing now. Like, once I get through doing What's all I need start? to do on Sundays, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> wrong, bro. Because I got to go work out first, then I start. Yeah. Oh, okay, stuff. okay. But it's like. How long you spend in that gym? Not that long, to be honest. Mm. I don't know what I'd be because I I'll go. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna go get my car wash. I'm gonna go get some gas. I'm gonna go get some groceries. I'm yeah. gonna come home. And then you I'm do the go clean, clean laundry. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take me a shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cook some. That's when I cook. Yeah, and yeah. literally by the time I get through with that, bro, it's five, and I'm oh, like, damn. and that give me really about two hours, three yeah, hours, yeah, about four ish before yeah. I gotta go to sleep, and it's yeah. like. Yeah. That's not enough, bro. So I don't know. I'm, yeah. I really got to like be a little bit more intentional and stuff. I wonder. Yeah. I don't feel like I don't feel centered right now. I do not feel centered right now. You don't now. feel it like you're in control. Uh, in control. Yeah, but like I said, I feel like to me, it's like I didn't feel like I was in control. I, I feel like for me, like so, it's it's, it's really just like I'm prioritizing everything, everything else, but. Your well being. Yeah, it's like I just like, oh well, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. Mm-hmm. It's like so task driven, my yeah. days. Yeah. And yeah. that's work days, off I, days. You, it's Bro, it, I didn't want to give you no pushback, but I was about to say that. I was like, that's because you look at everything as a task. Like I'm mean, having stuff to do. How how else should I, I, I that's Ed, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like like the boxing and the working out, some people would say that like that's a release. That's their time in the cell. Yeah. But that's a task for you. Like, that's something to check off your list. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I just know that's the way that you view that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't view that as, it is a little escape. I know you get your little gains from it. Maybe the boxing more than the workout, but you look at it like a task. 
So it's just another thing on the docket. You know? Mm. I don't know. I think that specific thing may just be a mental thing, but everything else for sure is like. How do you not I, look at it as a thing? I, I would just. I enjoy it, though. And I, I don't know what to say to you, bro. But it's like, oh, I got to be there at this time. Yeah, so yeah. I got to like move yeah, with a sense of urgency. Yeah. It ain't like a. It ain't like a. Oh, yeah, I just make But then again, it ain't. I mean, boxing shouldn't be something you just mosey into. You should be prepared for that. So. But like I say, That's it's why like, it's double edge. It's double. double but then, too, it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to meet it on, on time. So yeah. I, I need to do this and this so I can yeah. make it there in time. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, your brain is but always. But once I'm there, though, I'm only yeah, focused yeah. on that. Yeah. But then. Yeah, but it's I like I gotta go back to reality. Yeah, after that. yeah, like yeah. Once I get through, I put my wrist wraps in my bag. Yeah. Now I was like, oh shoot, I need to go eat, shower, yeah. make sure I get to bed. So. Yeah, but I feel you because I when I did when I had my personal training thing, I was the same way. I was like, man, because I used to train at what six. Mm-hmm. So them late days I had like today, <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I get home at like five fifty. It's like, dang. I'm just throwing my stuff in my bag and just running mm. out the door. Like, I didn't even have time from like nine to five work going straight into another activity. Maybe that's like, but see, that was my issue. I didn't give myself no kind of grace. But see, that that's yeah. that's my thing too. But on I like a, to get it out the way. Though. On a day that I don't box and I go work out, my trick is if I sit down, I'm not gonna go. So like that's what I literally come home, hang what need to be hanged, throw it in the dirty clothes need to be thrown in the dirty clothes. Mm-hmm. And I put, Get dressed and instantly go. That's what I'm saying. I literally don't sit down. Like yeah. once I get off from work, I don't sit down until I'm eating. Yeah. Hours later, after I didn't worked out, showered. If I got to cook, cook. Finally, sit down, eat. I might give myself the grace to watch another little thirty minutes of a show before it's time to go get in the bed. And it's like discipline, man, bro. I don't know. But What's he, not he, working, he, man? Sound like something ain't working. Something ain't working, bro. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is over there, but something ain't working over something there. Ain't, I, I, like I say, when I'm in my groove, it feel good. But like I say, I'm not After it's right all now. over. You, yeah, it's, it's, again, I'm doing this because I want to at the end of the day. I don't have to do anything. I can go home and just sit there. But then I won't feel good about myself. Well, why don't you just give yourself a day to do that, to get everything together? Like, it's okay to take a day off. But see, even on my day. Even if I take a day off from working out, that'll be my day that I'll go have dinner with somebody. Or oh, social. yeah. It's, so it's always like, something. It's something. It's always something. But see, that's, that goes into the whole episode. Yeah. I got to prioritize myself. Maybe you, you, should, you should just. I got to block a night out for myself. Yeah, you should bro. just. You just. You should like, just. Like, no workout, yeah. no nothing. You're going to go home and you're going to chill. Yeah, yeah, you should just say no for a day. Like, literally just no. Yeah. Nothing today. And it's like no that, task. Like I'm not no, no task, workout. No I ain't got no errands. To yeah, because yeah. I always got errands to run too. I got to stop by Natural Health. No, so I need to go pick up my clean uh, dry clean. I need to go uh, get my car wash. You need to know. No, you just it don't make it a weekend. It should oh, be like a. It don't make good. it a weekend. Make it like a Tuesday, like a Wednesday or something like. I think Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday the natural day. If anybody go take a break, probably gonna be on Wednesday. But Wednesday. you should do that. Just know. Do whatever you need to do. If you need to, even if you use that day to get your other days in order, but you not being able to not get yourself centered, you need that. And people think, well, you're an active man. We've already established that. Yeah. You're an active man. But this is also part of you getting yourself together. Like, you don't always have to be active. You can take that day off, you know? And if it do make you feel bad, that's when you ask yourself, why do I feel bad about this? What is it about like this that makes me feel bad? Something about being if you productive need, make me feel good. Though. I can send, I need that. I can send you a text message and say you being productive by doing nothing. Oh, I might send that's that to you. Right there. You tell me when that day is for you. I, to be weird, <laughs> I seriously don't like. Yeah. That's a good midday too. That's a good mid, like, bro, okay, to, I'm yeah. telling you, bro. That's a good day. <laughs> Yeah, good, I need to. I seriously need to start, and that's why I was talking about therapists. Like, yeah, you gotta start blocking out time for you. He told you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, you do. You know, that is a slippery slope, right? But I don't think that would be that for you because me knowing you and knowing like how goal oriented you are and task driven, you gonna you gonna get to the next day like, okay, I'm ready. I am very task driven. Yes, that you is are. That's a great way to put it. I am yes. task driven. I've been telling you that. I've been telling y'all. I've been telling Ed this since two thousand nine. You know, some stuff you can. Hey, you know, 
It's okay. They, it, like you can be productive by doing nothing. You can like there's productivity in like self care. Yeah. You know I'm saying like. That's the productivity. I think, too, it, like I said, I felt like when I got into more hobbies and stuff, it started taking up my time. But that's good. Like a hobby. It's good. And, it is good. Yeah. But like I said, You don't I need think, to be consuming. Yeah, I think that's what I was thinking the other day. I, said, I think three times a week. And it's not like one mm-hmm. is on the weekend. This is literally Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. I think that yeah. might be too much for me. Monday, Tuesday, the boxing. I yeah, I think that's a little too much. That's right what's not now. working. That's what's not working. I think that's too much for me right now. You should what you should should just do two. Yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. I think that's a better balance. Like do me. like two. Now if I if my yeah, if my days was structured a little different, I could maybe do that mm-hmm. and it'd be fine. But it put me in a very like hectic state too, because the the Tuesday, well, Thursday class is at six thirty. Yeah. And from where I work it take an hour, so like I'm literally, I gotta take a couple minutes while I'm still on the clock to go change yeah. and then rush yeah. to get there. Yeah. And that's why I feel like it's so much of a task because yeah. I'm not moving at a, a comfortable pace. Because yeah. I don't mind if I got a lot of stuff to do, but I can move at a comfortable yeah, pace. Yeah, exactly. But during the week, it's it's so like time based. Yeah, so like, it's different. Like you don't want to waste one minute. I don't have a minute to waste. <laughs> but yeah. see, on the weekends, like. Normally my weekends are as like I got stuff to do, but I can move at my own pace. Right. Like it ain't a hard time like right. it is during the weekdays where it's like, nah, I I gotta be here by this time. I gotta be here this I'm oh I'm saying I'm gonna meet them here at this mm-hmm, time. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's 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 becoming a lot. That's crazy the six thirty used to seem so late. Now that must come quick. When you got something it's a Bro. six six thirty when you got something to do at six thirty, come Bro. quick. I normally, yeah, that's hard. That's like a for hard, me, yeah, like seven thirty. I still got to move with pace, but I I got urgency. a little le- little leisure, oh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, six thirty. I don't have straight. to move too crazy, but six nine. Well, that's straight urgency. It's danger. Like depending on what I got to do, I probably can't make six thirty. But you know, and you know what? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and I hate. I don't hate to say this. I'm reluctant to say it because I want to get this guy on the podcast when I was my personal trainer. We was doing three days a week. And we was mm-hmm. doing Monday, Tuesday. I think. No, we was doing a full week. Because we would do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, Monday, Tuesday. No Wednesday. Then we do Thursday, Friday. Mm-hmm. And, like, that one was at 630. And, like, yeah. I mean, you know what type of job I got. Like, I don't even got to set the off time. Like, yeah. I could be doing that, like, three I can be done at five thirty, and like and you're not coming from the same location and every time. Either. Yeah, and like you, I used to have to. I used to have my bag in my work truck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Change in the back of the truck, drive mm-hmm. straight there. But I will say this: I did kind of have to come to a realization because I was getting worn out too. Mm-hmm. And when it's like that, when you don't feel like you got a grip, it's like dang. I used to feel like, bro. Okay, here's here's the visual like. I'm grabbing at a rope and it's just like always getting pulled up. Mm-hmm. Like I'm never actually grabbing the rope. I'm just reaching for it. Yeah. And like I hate when my weeks feel like that. And it's like, whoa, that and that's basically you saying like being centered, but like yeah, I feel like I never can catch up. I can never can catch up. And that used to very fr- that used to really frustrate me. And on those long Wednesdays, I'm like, man, what's not working? Like, like I know I need to be I'm on it, but like something gotta happen to where like, you know, I can Kind of manage this, and you probably I, need to push the time back. Uh, yeah, I did. Well, we did. I think we did, and then I like took a day off. Like, okay, let's just do three days a week instead of mm-hmm. four. And to be honest, I was in a full fledged relationship at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, that's another like thing that, that can consume your time. That can, you know, like so date nights and like trying to go to her crib or get stuff ready for her to come over here. Like, I still got it. Come home from the workout, take a shower. That's like 7 30, 7 45. It's already 8 o'clock. Like, I used to tell her, like, man, get the stove and stuff running. You know, when I get off, I, I'll do the cooking. I just need you to chop the stuff, you know, mm. stuff like that. But um, anyway, like, prioritizing yourself like that, bro, it can be hard. It can be hard when you know you're a resilient person, too. Because people like me and you, Couple of our other brothers, and a lot of like men, you know, black men. It's like, shoot, man, like I've done it before. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I can get through this time. Yeah. And then one week turn to two weeks, two weeks turn to three. Next thing you know, this is your lifestyle. All right. And you wonder why you crash out on a random Thursday, you know? <laughs> or you blowing up <laughs> you blowing up at your boys over a fantasy football game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're like, hey man, what's going on? Yeah. Bro? What's going on? But you I think a lot of the um because I do applaud you for even like having the vulnerability to even talk about this on the, on the, on our platform. But a lot of the applause that I, I want to give to you and gratitude is even recognizing it. Yeah. Cause there was a time and we know a generation of people mm-hmm. that's not too far ahead of us. They're like, Oh man, that's just work, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's just how life go, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, no, bro, you can't ignore that. You can't mm-hmm. ignore when you're, you can't ignore when you're like, not well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like some don't just feel right, right? You know? And then, and I think not to go too long with it, but I think that like that's what that this issue is deep is even more connected to. It's just like we 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 well, black men will ignore some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we will ignore some stuff. We will ignore something when it's not right. You know, you know what I'm saying? So there's power in even recognizing it. You know, because mm-hmm. I know for me. Um, when I had times like that, and you kind of explained yours, like you know, you don't feel right. The things you enjoy to do, you kind of xing that out, like unwillingly. It ain't like you just said, "Oh, I'm not going hike." It's like, well, I can't go hike. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a difference between, "No, nah, I ain't gonna do it today," and "No, I can't yeah, do it." Just be stuff, man. Like <laughs> example, tomorrow, some people in my boxing class they sparring for the first time at eight o'clock in the morning. <sighs> It be stuff like that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Yeah. I, I'm a I'm a I'm a single man with no kids. So <laughs> my task that T-E-P. I be having, to, it's the TEP I, man. My task I be having to do don't be, yeah, the yeah. most outside looking in. You be like, if somebody oh, if somebody just, listening like, man, that's all. Yeah, yeah, it's it ain't even like like hard stuff. I'm like, well, yeah, but. It's your I'm human, yeah. I'm about to say that's it's your life. I get tired still. Like shit, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like you got all these social engagements and stuff to mm-hmm. do. I, I couldn't go to a birthday party Sunday night because I just didn't have the capacity. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. So it's just like, bro, it, it yeah, it be mm-hmm. stuff like that, y'all. It don't be like nothing too serious. It only really it only really but still you Yeah. You, at some point you get burnt out and a little tired. Mm-hmm. And it and it even be hard, like what you were saying, like Picking what, like who can't go? Okay, what do I give up? Yeah, because that would be making you feel bad about yourself. Like, yeah, people be like, man, you always on the go, you always busy. Yeah, man. yeah. Well, well yeah, dang. but shoot, I mean, a lot of this stuff come at me. Yeah, like it ain't me. Like, yeah, actively. Hey, y'all trying to? Uh, uh, uh. It'd uh-huh. be like, hey, we doing this tonight? Y'all mm-hmm. gonna come? Yeah, like, well, to, like tonight. Yeah, it's like, well, like, to, uh, man, like, like tonight. <sighs> We we got invited out to yeah. to 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 yeah. to, the, to, to a place to a place, and I really want to go for the wings. Like, if I could just go in, get the wings, and leave, yeah, I would do that. I don't got the capacity to, and I know it's gonna be packed, and they're probably gonna try to make you pay this. Oh, down. it's gonna be like thirty at the door. Got to do that. twenty five, and then the process of getting in line, and then like we with people, so I'm a. And these people I love, so of course I'm gonna throw in and get the the seat. Yeah. But I really want to just get the food and leave. Man, it's gonna be loud. I just like I said a week ago, I probably would have been on that type of time. I'm just tired, man. Sure, I Sorry, too. I got paid too. But oh, I see, know that's, that's even, even more, more temptation. Yes, but yes. I got a hey, I got a bottle in the refrigerator. I could sit here and get drunk myself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm at that age now. I'm at that I age. Say, man, I got this little meal on my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up, watch game four, the finals, the NBA finals. I spun, <laughs> I spun last night looking at all different ways to wash my hair. I didn't want to go to that. I want to play in my hair. Pause. Hey, that ain't, that ain't no it. pause, but yeah, I do want to play. I just I want to try these new things. I got some new techniques, you know. Yeah. I want to try them, and I do need a new wash day, and I need time for it to dry. Yeah. But somebody asked me how you decompress. I say, "Heck, sometimes I, I just sit in the tub, either I listen to music, or I watch some old NBA games." Yeah, <laughs> I, say, I say, "I say, I have me a bottle of water, and I have me a flavored drink." That's how I, that's meant. Like, dark, in the dark with a candle lit. That's just hey, 
That's me. Hey, it's, there's Game 5 of the Detroit Pistons and San Antonio Spurs is in my YouTube right now. Yeah, see? That's I my favorite like... finals game to watch. Huh. Yeah, it is. I'm have to lock in on that one. Well, Ginobili should have got MVP. That's it. That's that finals. That's why I watch it so much. Because it's... They, they They won... Duncan did his thing, but it was Gino- Ginobili was um, just, on here, bro. yeah he was he was the piece he was the piece. But anyway, um, but no man, and uh, I guess I'd say this like, bro, you, you you can't overlook that stuff, bro. We we've seen too many examples of that going the wrong way. Yeah, whether it was you know the extreme, you know, mm-hmm. self harm, self deprecating. Because yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'll be transferable. I will self deprecate. Not like in a drastic way, like harming myself, but I drink. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't do that. I just drink. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Let me go outside and and, and do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or let me uh, overindulge in food or something like that. Yeah. And that's like, like those are my signals. Mm -hmm. Like how you said, like when you can't do the things you like, like the hiking and stuff. Like those are your signals. My signals are that. Like, uh, I mean, I just realized I, I'd be like, it'd be like a Sunday. Like, dang, Joe, you had a beer every day this week, bro. Hey, man. Some people live like that. But, like, okay, you had two beers every day this week, okay? <laughs> and if you're a real alcoholic, you know that probably be like four. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All my real drinkers out there probably know what I mean. He's like, you get to the end of the week, like, bro, like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I had to say to myself, like, what's going on, bro? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That was just a random Tuesday you got. Hey, in your crib, by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do I need to join a journey? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no. Uh, uh, but you got to, like, realize and recognize what your signals are. And because uh, that's funny, right? That's kind of like your body. It's very, like, abstract. But it's yourself warning yourself. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, we 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 getting a little too far here, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. we getting too far off the track, dude. Like look what we doing, you know? Yeah, and you got to pay attention to that, you know. And yeah. I can I can imagine like being somewhere where I just know a ton of people because I feel like in mm-hmm. my little circle that I have, I get told, man, you 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 always busy, you always yeah. on the go. I I can't ever catch you, and it's like yeah. Thank God, like our families, like our real, real families don't be living out here. Yeah, because that'd be like hectic. I couldn't do it because I, I feel like it'll that always be something to do. What people tell me that, and it's like, I mean, yeah, but I want to make time for you, but then it's like, mm-hmm. <sighs> mm-hmm. But I, I'm only one person, bro. I had a situation uh, this past week, like even last week. Mm-hmm. When I'm gonna see you, baby, babe. I ain't even seen myself. <laughs> I, I, I can't even see myself. I can't even see myself. Like, I, hey, somebody give you that response. You just gotta leave. That you gotta leave it low, man. Hey, hey, Ed, sometimes I ain't got it. Yeah. And I ain't talking about money. I just don't got the capacity to even yeah. do anything. And I be having to, and I be feeling bad. Like, dang, like, dang. Like, I don't cancel on people. I really don't cancel on people. But I need to like know to like stop before it start. Like don't say yeah to that. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Say no to that, bro. You know. Um but no man, uh yeah. Um or tired. Or tired so you gotta you gotta pay attention to your well being. And um and I know as men and as black men that want to be a good image. And uh, live a virtuous life and things like that, and stand on their morals and values. We want to show up for the people we love, right? Yeah. Like we want to be there for like the ones that mean a lot to us, mm-hmm. even for ourselves. Like, yes, I say I'm a man of my word. I say I'm gonna be there. You know, I love it. His dinners tonight or whatever. He want to go out tonight, and I wish I could be there to enjoy that with him, but I can't. Yeah. Like tonight, like I love the people that's going out tonight. It's like, dang, like. I want to be with y'all and turn up with y'all. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I don't have it in me, you know? And I want to show up and I want to be able to, I want to be a person that you can say when I call on Jew, he was, you know, he come through. Yeah. You know? And and then too, it's like, in my life, if something come out of the blue, I move around stuff (laughs) for people. But then I I wouldn't even do that for myself. I wouldn't move around 
You wouldn't make those consensus for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's why I said that's why I was like, I really gotta start prioritizing me. I gotta start choosing me, man. I choose me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Kendrick said it best. And you know, bro, and it's funny, bro, because we're talking about this topic, and I literally just came off a week of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and thank and, and thank you, like like Buddha coming to get me from Austin. Mm-hmm. I'd have came and got y'all. I'd have came and got every one of y'all. Ooh, but boy, I wouldn't have liked it. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have liked it. I would like, Ooh. I would, yeah, I would have did it, too. I mean, it is what it is. It, it is what it is. You, can, it per, ain't, you could have prevented it. So yeah. It's kind of like. You kind of like, uh, but thank I you. I would have felt it, though. But, 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 but that, and that's why he made that concession for me. Mm-hmm. Bring him home. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. bring him home. Like, okay. Now I can't say no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas maybe if those fights would have went through perfectly. Yeah. I might have said, man, boo, boo, the boo. Let's just do it next week. But yeah. when somebody show you they're there for you, yeah, you gotta show up for them. You gotta show up for them, man. But uh, on another note, man, football season starting. Yeah, you excited? Yeah, you know we're not a sports uh, podcast, but hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. This is the most excited I've been for a football season in a long time. This is going to be a good season. Um, I feel like I'm so excited because we had a lot of stuff get shaken up. Yeah. And different I, stars go to different teams. I'm just stuff, waiting so. to see what's going to happen. It's a lot of, you, it's a lot of, you're curious about it to see how a lot of things yeah. shake out. Yeah. It's like, a lot of things. Like I was telling uh, my homeboys, I was like, bro, I'm excited, just, not just for my team. I got I got other teams. I, like, yeah, I just want to see how it's going to look. I want to see how the Broncos going to look. I want to see how the Eagles, like the Eagles. Yeah. I'm really, I, I ain't going to lie, I'm high on the Eagles. And that's the good thing about being in Dallas. You know, we get all the Eagles games. Yeah, we so get all the Eagles. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Yeah. I want, I want to see us, of course, the Chiefs, see what we look the, like. What, the Raiders. The Raiders. I want to see, see that. Chargers. I want to see the. Uh, I want to see what Burrow look like with that new line. Is it going to be better? Yeah, you know, the Ravens. The Ravens, yeah. healthy now, mm-hmm. a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so. the Dolphins. Under- I might say the Dolphins. You want to see how that how that's, how that's going to turn look. up? Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Tampa Bay. You always interested in that? Of course, of course. Dallas. You know that's going to always be entertaining, and you, regardless. And you know, I watched the Texans preseason game. Mm-hmm. Now I ain't about to say they about to win ten games. But I don't think they're gonna be as bad as people think they. You think they're gonna be competitive? I yeah. just mean competitive. They yeah. may not win the game. Yeah, but yeah, they're gonna be competitive. They was competitive. They, they like, didn't. like if you a team, if you a lower tier team, yeah, thinking you just about to get, if you count that as a dub, it just ain't gonna go as easy. I, I don't think, think it's gonna, gonna go. be that easy. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that's the thing about the Jaguars too. You know they went and spent money. Oh yeah, they did. So and in then, the Jets. Just I'm about to too. say, Dang, I see that's why I say it's, it's, it's a lot that's going to be interesting. Saquon finally back, got Christian McCaffrey back. <sighs> see, and I ain't gonna lie, that's why I need another. I got Eric Henry draft at your own discretion. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get my draft board together. I kind of, I, I haven't literally put a single thought to it, but I think I know what I want my strategy to be. I know my approach. I know my approach and 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 ooh, QJ. I might say then I, I'm I'm uh, in the 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 order. I got a nasty number too, so mm-hmm. I gotta like see what that look like. Now. Yeah, yeah. Drafting yeah. from what am I? What are you? I am you like six, nine, nine in the draft of twelve. Uh, snake draft, right though. Yeah. We got snakes. So. And you are. I'm three. Ah, oh, see you got. See, dude, <laughs> I forgot. I guess I forgot the importance <laughs> to play it all the way through. What you mean? Like, even though you're not in the playoffs. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For yeah. the final seeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was so close. It was close. Me, I, me, I, I you time. I was gonna say, I swore to swore I made the playoffs. I think you. When you like to, you was somehow I, I finished last. <laughs> Did you just stop? Oh, you didn't do like the constellation. You didn't I do guess it. I just you didn't pay attention, heck, or I just lost. Maybe you just lost. But how did you get last? I thought I, I thought you, no, Jacoy was up there. I, I, I thought Buddha was last. It. I don't know. Okay, but anyway, yeah. Uh, but I'm, I mean, I'm excited for fantasy. Uh, I think we, I think the league gonna be good. Like I like it now because everybody in there has played enough years. Like it ain't nobody new. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the, the yeah. give up in the middle of the season. Early. Yeah, yeah. Everybody gonna play, everybody in there gonna play it, play it through. I didn't have like at least three people hit me up about getting in our fantasy, bro. I don't know how they hear about it, but wanted to be in ours. But 
Um, yeah, I finished last. I understand. <coughs> that's crazy. That's six and eight. That's yeah. that's crazy. I'm that's glad. Crazy. I'm glad you gave. I'm glad you gave us a, a week though, because uh, I ain't gonna lie. That's probably what I'm gonna do Sunday. I'm gonna get my little get my because I know the the people you the do you hear in the background. <laughs> don't let him fool you. That boy been watching everything. I see. That's I, why I, I hear I, it. I, uh, I other brother talking about. Oh, I, I need time to repair. I was like. The season was going to start when the season was, was going to start. start. So yeah. you already, don't do yeah. that. <laughs> but the only reason why I said that, because I was like, man, let's just let these last preseason games go by. Because last time, yeah. he, he did he did draft what's the name and he got hurt. Like, Well, I'm about to say, Sunday we was going to be, the, be safe anyway. Cause that'd be the last. Because this is the last weekend of preseason. Nobody playing it's just Monday. a dead week. Yeah, it's Nobody a, playing, okay. Yeah, it's just a dead week then. Okay. okay. So. That would have been good. But next week is good too. It don't matter to me. People got time. Yeah, but um, but no, no, no. I'm very excited for the season. Who's gonna be a, man? And I just can't. And you know what's funny? I think I'm more interested in this season too, uh, because I've been following everything. Like, yeah. like I've been following my team closely. Like, hey, training camp videos, preseason videos, all the off season moves. I'm in. Mm-hmm. A, I'm in a group message on Twitter with straight cheese fans, bro. It's like seven, ten of these dudes that live in Dallas. They trying to get a party bus to the Chargers game. I was like, well, I'm in a good spot. Like, it, like the fandom is real. Like, I ain't never been this much of a fan hmm. any other year. And, I, and I'm and i a I'm a fan. Yeah. I, I searched my name in my team football name yesterday. Got like 30 tweets. Search my Twitter name. Hey, I'm, I've been a chief, okay? Anyways, man, that's enough of that. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I just, I, I, but overall, though, I think the fall is gonna be exciting. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna help in my stillness because yeah. I Sundays is football. Yeah, like I, that's what I say. I literally make sure I got everything done by twelve. Yeah, but see that that time for me, that's my blocked out time for me. Yeah, like I can somebody can be there. Yeah, but. I'm doing that's this. Me. I'm that, doing this. Yeah, what's gonna happen? That's gonna happen. I'm yeah. gonna watch all my little games. Yeah. Yeah, have one up on my laptop, one up on the TV, probably <laughs> one on my phone. There you go. No, you got your noon games. You got your little the three twenty five. Yeah, then you got that little gap, small little, little gap. Then you got your night game. It's your night game, man. So, and I can't wait. I can't. Yeah, wait. me too. I think it'll help me because it. That's for, funny because even basketball season it helps yeah. me be still because I got to watch the game. Yeah, ain't it funny how like something like just football season kind of give everybody structure. Yeah, like you kind of know what's going on. But on I always felt that about my life when the when the football or basketball season not going on, I feel like that's when I do more. But yeah, that, you, you that just kind of <laughs> you just feeling time. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, honestly, yeah. But now at Thursday night, I know mm-hmm. like, Thursday night game. Yeah, and I ain't gonna lie, and that Monday night game. I ain't gonna lie, I'm one of them dudes too. I I've grown into one of them dudes. Like football on, that's what I'm watching. Yeah, I'm sorry, like. I used to be a. I used to be like, ah, oh, it's the it's the lines in the bike because I'm gonna go I'm like, no, nah, I'm watching this game. Yeah. I'm watching this game, but uh, mm-hmm. no, nah, man, yeah, it's, it's episode seventy. Oh, no, let me find a, let me find a, a transferable experience podcast. Mm-hmm. Like just to recap today, man, I think it's important to just you know, mm-hmm. like we always say, just listen to yourself and mm-hmm. you gotta prioritize yourself too. You know, everybody don't have the luxury to take a whole day, but if it's just an hour of the day, thirty minutes of the day, where it's just you, it's just the time mm-hmm. to yourself to do what you need to do. I forgot to tell you. I wanted to tell you. I started my uh, day off uh, Wednesday and Thursday. I got my morning stretches in. Mm-hmm. That would make a difference, bro. Hadn't even been stretching it. <sighs> See, <laughs> that's off, bro. But no, because I had thought about you. Because I like, I like, I like, I like. I know Ed getting it in. I hadn't even, don't even be stretching anymore. I'd be so tired that I dang near sit in the bed till I have to get up. That's how I'd be. Okay, we're gonna do this. Uh, but you like the anything off this cabinet? You want something off this cabinet? Uh, you can do. The, I don't know. You can do the Vori track. Okay, that's the end. Or the, yeah. All right. It's been an episode seventy nine of Transferable Experience Podcast. Remember to do all the things on all the things. Till next time. Are we missing any birthdays? Any bull birthdays? The thirty first. Yeah, that's Thursday. Happy uh, birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Earl. Happy birthday, Earl. Happy uh, birthday, Earl. Uh, oh, you, man. Hey, I hope you're still here. <laughs> happy birthday, bro. <laughs> oh, congrats to Kendall, too. He became a dad. Oh, yeah. Too. Shouts out to my dog, Kendall. Hey, hey, have a, hey, hats off. Hats off. Baby bro. Kennedy, man. Ooh.